Hi, hi, hi. Okay, yeah, that's it. That's it. That's going pretty good. All right, now I got to turn on the Skype so people can call us. Um, you know, if you want to call us on Skype, very simple, folks. Uh, you simply call me at, are you ready? Uh, 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 use Skype and you call me at GabNet Live. But if you don't use Skype, you can also use the, uh, uh, our telephone number, which I pay. I just paid the bill for it. It's about five bucks a month. 347-352-0079. Can I roll on over? 347-352-0079, sure. I'm rolling over. And people on TV can see what I'm wearing, but wait till the people who call get to see what I'm wearing, and then, then we'll talk about it. Then but we'll talk about it. Can you? I don't see that, it, what? Yes. I don't see that, it's, they can hear you. Jeez. Oh, Phil's gonna be the first one calling tonight. I can see, see it says, Phil Meyer is online. So uh, let's, uh, let's see what happens here. I'm, see, I'm sniffling tonight, I've got the sniffles. Alex, enough. And all night long, I'm going to be doing this. Enough. Uh, let me see here. Let me let me move some up here. There we go. What are you doing? I'm waving. Oops. Oh, what happened? Well, it saw you waving. Uh, oh, God, I can't. Oh, well, let me get Phil here. Uh, hi there, Phil. How are you? Yeah. Hey. That was oh, see what oh that wait was. a minute. There's Scott. We'll add Scott to the group. And all night long, what are you doing this? Enough. Yeah. Hey, Scott. Hey, are you there, Scott? Scott? Uh, hey. Yeah. What are you doing? Oops. Scott, are you can there? You yeah, we can, I can hear you. It's weird. It says there's no answer at GabNet, but I'm talking to you. Yeah. Uh, and and, and, and I have the sound uh, of ringing. Hi, Phil. How are you? All right. Yeah. Uh, I hey. think I have oh, the oh, wait a audio minute. There's Scott. On. Oh, this is all giving me a headache. <laughs> Uh, Scott, call back. Okay. Yeah. Um, I don't know how to quit. Well, not, I'm going to have to kill Sp uh, Skype. <laughs> Just re-Skype. Don't kill it. <laughs> Somebody should kill Skype. Okay, let me put the uh, screen up on here so people can see uh, our, uh, our, our folks. Okay. I, I assumed that that was what you were wearing, and I tried the uh, knockoff one that I have on. And since it's a medium and I take a 2XL, uh, it, it, you know, I got it on, but, you know. This, uh, well, this thing wouldn't have fit me a while back, you know, but, yeah. it, but it does now. So, oh, look, there's a double picture, folks, that you're going to get there for a second while I move this out of here. Hold on. Oh, God. Damn. I don't know. I can't f forget it. Um, I'm, having, I'm having problems here. Yeah. Uh, Hold on. Oh, what do you know? I'm, I'm losing that. I'm getting that. And oh, this must be looking great, folks. Oh, well, forget it. I can I can see my picture. I don't need to. Uh... I can't see it. Huh? You're full screen for me. What? You're full screen for me. Yeah, no, but I'm having some problems here with my my video. Okay, wait a minute. Oh, here, here, there we go. All right. And now it says uh, try closing other apps because uh, you're uh, you're uh, uh, you're using up too much CPU power. Uh, that's bullshit too. I'm using up. Le oh, there it goes now. Perfect streaming. Yeah. Forget it. I just I wanted to just see my picture, but here comes Dave. Oh, I knew. Uh oh, we're having a problem with him. But I know what I'm going to do. I you know what I'm going to do. No, no, I'm going to call him and add him to the group. That's what we'll do, and and we'll call him. Uh, are you there, David? Call uh, failed. Call, call failed. Wait a minute. David, are you there? Oh, uh, oh hell. Here. Uh, you know, I can't it, I can't do it. Here, here's Rob Alfon. I'm having the same problems again tonight. Wait a minute. Uh, hold on, folks. Everybody. Uh, let me uh, call, uh, call back, uh, Phil. Phil. Uh, call All back. All right. All right? Yeah. Okay. Let me this out this is ridiculous i'm yeah i'm trying to figure this out it's causing me no end of grief so anyway uh ba -ba 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 -ba. let me see here okay oh i i don't know i don't know uh 
I'm I'm so sick and tired of, of this. It worked last night. There's Rob. Okay, so we say hello to Rob. Hi, hello. Rob. Hello. Yeah, and now let's see what happens. See, last night it was all working fine. Yeah, but we're back in high def tonight. Well, we haven't we haven't gotten another person on. That's the that's oh, the, so the first one is always high def. Yeah, the first one's always high def. So yeah. Uh, how are you this evening? Let me see here. Let me go to you. Let me go to you on the screen. I I can't see what I've got and don't have here because I lost my my screen. Uh, so I will just, uh, uh, just down there. you know I'm going to stop doing this TV thing because it's just ridiculous. You know, Here's it's it. like it rubbing my stomach and patting my head and <laughs> doing all those things. And now why is nobody else calling back? I see Phil's online. Okay, there's David Hajek. Okay, add Hi, to David. group. Okay, there's David. Hi, David. Hi, David. Hello. Yes, you're not, we don't have a picture on you tonight, right? No. But we hear your voice. But we hear your lovely voice. Lovely voice. I somehow, I somehow knew David, who lives in the, uh, 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 the wonderful Czech Republic, that you yes. were going to call tonight because... I saw that somebody from the Czech Republic was listening to us today. Yes. And I figured it was you. Did you just change your your picture, yep. uh, Rob? Yeah, because I'm wearing something and I was tired of seeing it backwards. Well, now so we all backwards. see it backwards. <laughs> now, what? Now we all see it backwards. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. So then I'll change it back. I thought it was... Uh, yeah. Well, that's interesting. Okay. Why would that be? And there's Phil. Phil's trying to wear the Yankees. same shirt. Uh, trying to wear the same shirt. Yankees? Ah, yeah, ah, but he looks like he's got. Too tits. Small. You look like you look like you got tits in those things. <laughs> oh God, it's squeezing me. Now, in. I would look the same way, except this thing now fits me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me change the zoom here. These are actually, if anybody's looking, let me just go to full camera here. If anybody's looking, this is uh, 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 a good guy's sweatshirt. And these were, they, they gave away a million of these. You couldn't buy these things, you know. Right. You had to win them. And so if you were a kid and you had your WMCA <laughs> good guy sweatshirt, uh, you're, you, were in, you were in great shape. Is that an original WMCA good guy sweatshirt or is that one of the re no, uh, like a, I know that the one that Phil has. Yeah, is, mine's uh, a, a remake too. Mine's yeah. a remake. But I'll tell you something. I wore the originals, right? I can't tell the difference. Quality yeah. is the same. The logo is the same. I married an original. I had an original. I don't know what happened to it. I but married uh, one. The, yeah. It, it married, moved in. Good they guy. can't That's see right. you. Actually, Terrell Matheny see, look, gave me see, mine. See, there's half of you. But it's like stuck there. Huh? It's like stuck. I'm going to say good night. Okay. Night, everyone. <laughs> good night. Bye -bye. I see, love uh, those breasts. Uh, I'm going to get out of this in two <laughs> seconds, so uh, <laughs> let me turn off the camera. <laughs> 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 oh God! Mine. My breastuses. Boy, you need a bra. Oh, yeah, man's ear. Man's ear. So, how you doing, David? Oh, I'm. I'm doing. What do you mean you're doing? I'm just. I mean, I'm still depressed. Oh, we haven't talked to you since. The no. Armageddon that took place in the United States. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I still cannot comprehend that we will have Donald Trump for president. Yeah. Uh, what? Let me ask you this. You're sitting over there in another country. What's the reaction? Like, reaction was terrible. Like, I, I had all these... European newspapers, like German newspapers, they put Black Day for America. You know, we've got TV star for president. You know, things like that. Well, we've also had, a, you know, in the past, a movie star for president. Yeah, but he was a governor. He, but he's not even a TV star. He's a reality TV star. And, yeah. and, and not a particularly successful one either, because no. that show had terrible ratings. You know, it was just so cheap to produce that NBC didn't mind spending money on it. Right. Now Skype is working flawlessly, ladies and gentlemen. And there is Scott Boddicker with his mood lighting. It's, it's nice tonight. 
Uh, how depressed so did I, you, uh, were you amazed when you heard that he won? Absolutely. I I was in shock. I, I, I couldn't believe it. I was like, these fucking stupid Americans, how can they do it, you know? Yeah, well... I'm sorry, not everybody's stupid, but, like, basically who voted for him was uneducated white males. Well, you know something? I wouldn't say that exactly, okay? Uh, I think it was stupid people. But I don't think it was uneducated people. Uh, I think it was people who didn't know what their own best interests were, and they voted against their best interest. Yeah. 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 And, and that's the problem. Like, these old people in Florida, they are worried now that they will lose Medicare, and they voted for Trump. <laughs> and we get you what know? we deserve. Yeah. Me too. Trump, Trump. Use your sound Trump. effects one more time, and I'm hanging up on you. That was reverb. How about chump? <laughs> Who? Chump. Chump. No, I can't do that. With you, know, you know what girlfriend still has on her computer? There was a program that John Oliver had made up. It's a great program, too, <clears throat> which you put it in your browser. You put it to, uh, what, what What's the word I'm looking for? It's... Uh, it's a cookie that you put in your browser. And every time Trump's name comes up, it says Drumpf. <laughs> and still, every time I look at it, you can get a headline on Drudge, and it would say, you know, Trump does this. It would say, Drumpf does this. Nice. Yeah. So, and I think you can still get it, actually. I had to take it off because I, I was having to look up so much news that I was getting annoyed by it. But you know what I've done, David? Although you probably... Yeah, I know. I know. I listen every day, and so did I. I stopped stop watching cable news. Yeah. Yeah. Why well, watch it, you know? I yeah. mean, I, I, well, I stopped watching the national news. I stopped watching any newscasts, most newspapers. Uh, I don't even... I'm not even reading the New York Times except, you know, arts and leisure and things like that. The... The intellectual stuff that you get in the uh, in the uh, in New York Times, but I I don't want to I don't care what's going on. And of course, the yeah, la the latest news that's come out is that uh, uh, Trump is going to have is going to nominate uh, Doctor Oz for Surgeon General. <laughs> uh, but like like two weeks, I, I was devastated after the election. Oh my God. A lot of people were. I mean, uh, there. I have seen depression after elections because you, your guy didn't win, you know. But whatever happened, everybody went. Well, this guy, he's not going to be very good, he, you know. But you know, we the republic will still stand tall. People yeah. in this case, there was. I my friend Will Durst, who does comedy shows. Said he, he did a comedy show that night, and as the results came in, at a comedy show, people were crying. You know, I mean, it was just, it, 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 it's just been hit. Everybody in the country uh, you know, is just, uh, who was against Trump is, is, uh, is devastated. Phil doesn't understand this because he's joyful That's right. at the outcome. And he mm -hmm. says, let's give them a chance. Well, I say, let's let some mass murderers out of jail and give them a chance again. Yes. You know. Works for me. <laughs> it's, um, there's an opinion, I think I read it on CNN, no, no, New York Times, I think, that says that Trump is only going to stay in office about a year, a year and a half, and he's going to resign. I think he has a very short attention span. He's been... He's been and a penis. Down, he's been turning down these... Uh, his security briefings and all that stuff. I don't think he wants to get mired in that stuff. I think he's 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 trying to run on fixing trade and the business part of this country, and he wants really no part of all the other stuff. Yeah. Well, uh, I do. You get the uh, what feeling do you have that he's not making all these appointments? That this is other people guiding him. I mean, it's well, it's like I, it's like Friedman said in the in the. Uh, said on television the other day, as I keep quoting him because it's a great quote, he is so non-political, he knows so little that yeah. the Republicans and the 
the, the evil Republicans in the party look upon him as an empty vessel to be filled. Yeah, I mean, no, no question about it. He breaks protocol all the time. He just did it with uh, talking with Taiwan's president Friday. Uh, how do you break uh, protocol? Uh, I didn't see the news. Yeah, he is supposed. The headline here is Trump risks showdown with China after call with Taiwan. And I didn't read all the the what ifs and the wherefores for the article, but obviously he broke some sort of um, uh, you know protocol, and now he's going to have to deal with China. I don't In thirty seven years, the uh, president has not never talked to Taiwan. Thirty seven years he, that. Uh, uh, President or President elect have, have never talked to a leader of Taiwan. And I guess that's to keep the Chinese from getting pissed. I guess. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, if you know it's going to piss them off, what is your advantage to talking to Taiwan? What are you going to get out of Taiwan that China can't give you? You know? You know who loves Trump? Who? <laughs> Filipino President Duterte. Yeah. Yeah. What, what's, it, what, what's his story? He's nuts, isn't he? Two of them, yeah. they're, they're the same, you know. <laughs> he, <laughs> he's claimed he's the Trump of, of uh, uh, Philippines, right? Yeah, the Trump yeah. of the Philippines. Except they invited each other back and forth to their countries. <laughs> <laughs> fucking mess we're in. Yeah. I hope he goes. <laughs> wow. Wow. Well, you know, I mean, I'm glad to say I don't watch the news. And what I do, uh, David, is I get it by osmosis from these guys. And now we're hearing that Trump's big deal where he saved uh, jobs, 1,100 jobs, supposedly, from Carrier uh, in Indiana. Didn't have anything to do with it. Well, it, look, he had Pence who gave away the, you know, gave away the, 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 you know, the store because he's still governor of the state. Yeah. So he's not going to get away with that all over the place. In the end, they're saying he only got about 800 jobs. And what did it cost? And now what are all these other companies going to say? Hmm. You know, let's see what we can get. Yes, did, Scott. Did you hear what Sarah Palin said about that deal? No. Phil would love this line. She called it crony capitalism. She did. And she said, this is the worst thing. This is not what Republicans do. We don't give handouts to corporations like that. Yeah, that's what he's and, doing. And I'm thinking, Sarah who? I mean, I couldn't believe she actually figured it out. Or somebody told her about it anyway. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Uh, so um, uh, she doesn't, she thinks it's crony capitalism and it's a bad idea too? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. We've been joined by Jeff Stein. Hello, Jeff. I always wanted to see a good guy. Yes, yeah, a good guy, a good guy in a sweatshirt. And my, I, you know, I should start wearing jeans on this Friday because this looks terrible, doesn't it? Uh, yes. The whole outfit huh? is horrible. What do you mean it's hor? What do you mean it's horrible? Even the hat. Come on. Here, let me let me do this. Then you won't have to see the pants. Hold on. There we go. Horrible. How about that, huh? <laughs> I don't, I don't, <laughs> is that the worst jingle ever? <laughs> uh, it's not a good one. What happened to, uh, what happened to, um, we David. lost... Uh, David? David. It's yeah. Gone. Uh, he said what. something bad about Trump and it cut him uh, right off. I want to see if my, I see, I, I, I usually have a reference here, but I lost it. Oh, now, okay. Now you can't see my pants. All right. <laughs> I mean, I'll wear jeans from now on when we're doing the, uh, the, the Friday thing. Uh, uh, Mark, uh, uh, how is your life going uh, with, uh, uh, I suppose you still watch the news, right? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah I just uh, haven't been, been around here much lately. I had a little operation to go through. Yeah, well, you went through it, but you told us that last time, didn't you? Or was there another yeah, operation? Yeah, I guess that's been a while. But what, I just, what kind of operation was it again? I had two herniated discs in my back, so I had to get up back surgery. Oh, yeah. A girlfriend had some back surgery a couple of years ago, and it, uh, you know, it takes a while to get over. It does, but it's kind of a miracle. You know, it's just pretty amazing they can even do that. Yeah, 
Yeah. And did, uh, what uh, did you have good medical insurance and stuff? Yeah, Medicare. I, did, I haven't paid a cent so far. Uh, do you hear that, Phil? How much did the operation cost? Do you figure? Uh, I get the I get the statements that pass through, and it's like uh, so far like twenty some thousand dollars. Yeah. Ta da! And you haven't gotten a bill. I haven't paid one cent so far. Do you have uh, supplementary insurance as well? Supplemental. So yeah. so that kicks in when the eighty percent is gone, and you just don't pay anything. Correct. Uh -huh. Yeah. So do you feel you're sponging off the system? No. <laughs> no. You are. No, I paid. I, I have never drawn an unemployment check in my life. I've never been unemployed in my life. I paid to have the deductions, you know, for 40-some uh, years. Mm -hmm. So I don't feel like I'm, I'm sponging at all. No. Oh, okay. All right. Because I, 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 I was a sponge. I took... A, a, they're lousy, what, 26 weeks of unemployment compensation, which barely paid me back for all the money over the years that I put in to unemployment compensation that I never took it, you know? So I figured, I don't feel guilty at all. In fact, they should be paying me off for like four times that amount. But, uh, you know, it's very easy to get along on $400 a week. Imagine saying that now. You used to be able to get along on... $35 a week when I was a kid. You know, my father, you know, made, I think, I remember him at his top end making $5,000 in a year. Mm. And we had a house in Marin County, and we had a car, and we had, you know, uh, food on the table every night. Yeah. Yeah. The house that we bought in Marin County, they bought for $9,000. And they took out, I think, a 35-year loan. <laughs> you know? I think the monthly yeah. payment, the monthly payment was like $35 a month. Wow. Yeah, so, yeah, I mean, but those were the good old days. What's the house worth now? Do you, is oh, it still around? Oh, that house, I would imagine, yeah, it's still there. It's been, you know, people have changed it, built sure. onto it, and so on. So I'd say that house may be worth a million and a half now. Maybe more, you yeah. Know. Uh, so, but nine thousand bucks, you know, buy a car for eight hundred dollars. <laughs> what were salaries? The salaries were, I think, thirty-five dollars a week was considered the average income in America. Mm -hmm. uh, so when I started making one hundred twenty-five dollars a week, I was I was already outstripping my father, you know. And at my best, I made uh, considerably more than that. Yeah. So, uh, but, my, but my father, you know, we, we li I lived a very, uh, uh, you know, uh, suburban life and was a, you know, lived with a middle class family. And uh, I didn't want for anything. And it was all on him making $5,000 a year. So, uh it's still five thousand dollars a year. It's just everything else. Everything's gone up. I mean, it, we we fool ourselves. You know, oh, we're going to pay you more money. Look at the wages people are making today compared to the wages they used to make in the fifties. Yeah, but look at what you pay for a stick of butter today as opposed to what you paid for a stick of butter then. It's all relative. What's it? Two dollars and sixty cents for a cup of coffee today. Uh, how much? Two dollars. You know, go to Starbucks and get a you know a grande. $4. Dark roast. It's two dollars and sixty cents for that. Really? Used to be what a nickel for a cup of coffee? Two cents? Okay. Yeah. Can I have a? Can I have five cents for a cup of coffee? Yeah. Yeah. No. It used to be very cheap. Yeah. Uh, I mean. It, oh, by the way, they, it, did you hear where? Uh, what, what, who's the guy who's the head of Starbucks? Um, yeah. Howard. What's his name? Schwartz. No. Howard. Schwartz. What? Howard Schwartz. Is it Schwartz? Oh. No, it's not yeah. Schwartz. It's not Schwartz. Schwarzman. No. No, it's <laughs> no, it's Howard. I think it's Howard Schwartz. No, I don't think so. Okay. Somebody, somebody, look it up. You can find it fast. Uh, but anyway, he's uh, he's quitting. Yeah. Howard Stern. Howard Stern. Yes. <laughs> well, what was the address in San Anselmo? I got Zillow up. It's okay. A, uh, it was one seventy nine Scenic Avenue. Okay. God, I remember that. 
I can't, I, I'm, I'm getting to the point where I can't remember people's names anymore, but I can remember 179 Scenic Avenue. Do you remember the address? Howard Schultz. Yeah. Howard, Howard Schultz. Schultz. You were close, Thank Mark. You. There it is. There it is. Yep. Missed it. Uh, it. What, you're looking it up on Zwillow? Zillow. Zillow. Will that tell us you how much it's worth? Yeah. 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 Uh, Appraised. It looks like it came up uh, 1.12 million. 1.12 million. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Uh, no, no, excuse me, 1.24 million. Oh, well, uh, there we go. $1,242,000. So it's appreciated from $9,000. Yeah. In, well, uh, 19, uh, uh, in 1950. Well, the one it's giving me is 473 Scenic, so that's up the street. Four bedrooms, three baths, 1,900 feet. And, and uh, with, with, with 179 Scenic Avenue, it's a large house. Yeah, well, it's a two, uh, it's a two story house. house up on a hill. Yeah, this one has four bedrooms, three baths, 473. Uh, it was built in 1925. Let me see what I can. Uh, oh, and in 2002, it sold for 545. So it's it's gone up quite a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Let me see what else I can find. Yeah. Okay. As we're all looking up my past. <laughs> Uh, anyway, we could use some more calls, folks. What happened to, I wonder what happened to David Hajek? Uh, I mean, we were paying attention to him enough, weren't we? I mean, I don't yeah. want to, don't. What is all that? Is, it, is that him? What is that noise? What's it like? David. It's like water. Are you there, no, David? that's me. Oh, Not me, you. but. Oh. Oh. That's, no, 179 at Scenic Avenue. Was it San Anselmo? Yes. Yes. There's actually pictures of the house on Zillow.com. Yeah, oh, really? yeah, yeah, and it's I one. I found it for one point two five. Yep, two oh five oh two nine. It's, it's on sale right now because there are pictures of the home. One million two oh five. Two oh five. Yeah. So you found that one. Uh, once we are scenic, let me hit it again. Yeah, that was my boyhood home. Now I don't know what they've done to it. I haven't. I don't see the picture. You can see the pictures online. By the way, I'm going to show you guys a picture. Hold on a second. Uh, I have this uh, ex-girlfriend. Uh, I, I always call her Schmoody because that was the nickname that, she, that we came up with for her. I always had nicknames for my, uh, for my girlfriends, like girlfriend's girlfriend. And, uh, I had a woman who was, who was in the fish business, so I called her Fish Princess, and everybody thought I was doing it for some evil, horrible reasons. But anyway, Kathleen and I... <laughs> Always loved having fun. She was kind of like one of the guys to hang out with. And so one year we decided that we were going to, I'd never sent out Christmas cards. And so we decided to send out in 1997 a happy holiday card. Wait a minute, hold on a second. Who is this? Who is this calling? Hello, is this Alex Menick? Yes, it is. Hi, Alex. This is uh, a voice from the distant past. Do you remember Al and Laura? Yes. Well, this is Al. A very bad news about Laura. We got married in 1980. She passed away six years ago, oh. and I'm all alone. Oh, that's too bad. Hold on a second, Al, because I want to want to show people. You can't see it because you don't have a. Uh, you're not using Skype. But anyway, what we did was... I'm not on Skype, but I can see you uh, on my computer Oh, screen. okay, good, good, because you're the TV thing, right? So you'll be able to see this. So, yes, sir. <laughs> so we, we decided that we would take a Christmas picture. So we went down to Sears, and I plunked out like 200 bucks or something like that. And here is what happened. There is our Christmas card. And I'm putting that up for the TV people to see. I know. I'll move it over in a second. Oh, TV the, people. I want the TV people to see it first. And here's you guys. You can see it. Is it showing up okay? What a wow. family. That's a beautiful family you got there, Alex. Yes, yeah. isn't it, though? Uh, Hot chick. Huh? Hot chick. Yeah, that's, that's, that's schmoody. And uh, we, uh, we took that and we sent it out and we wrote in hand on the bottom, it said, Happy Holidays, and we said, from the Schwarzmans. <laughs> and people got these Christmas cards. They got these Christmas cards and um, they couldn't believe it. They, they would get a hold of me and go, I didn't know you got married. 
I didn't know you had kids. And they thought I had kids. So we, this, is our, this was our Christmas card. And this was the hardest thing to take because this was the only picture where they were halfway not squirming around. And uh, one of them was crying, another one was squirming. And uh, in this picture, one kid's picking her nose. So, you know. The photographer that, earned that $200. Yeah, and we picked the cheesiest background we could find. You have your choice of backgrounds at Sears. You know, so we went to the, it was called Sears Portrait, I think was the name of the, the shop. You mean you, you weren't married to that person? No, <laughs> not at all. And the two kids, two of them were her, were her niece and nephew, and the other one was her best friend's daughter. <laughs> oh. So uh, that, 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 uh, we got a lot of calls on that one. What the fuck? I didn't know you Rental got married. Kids. What? Rental kids. Yeah. Yeah. This is the best kind. In 1997, <laughs> I think that was the year that I stopped working at uh, Live 105 in San Francisco. So, you know. Um, but uh, anyway, uh, it, 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 David was really depressed. Uh, I think you know, he probably just lost his internet connection. No, no, but he was really depressed, though. But about the whole thing with Trump, you know. Maybe he needs to stay in the Czech Republic for the next four years. I would. Yeah. Well, yeah. here's the deal. He may not be able to come back. He's an immigrant. Uh, yeah, right. He had a green card. Uh huh. Here, here, here. His wife's uh, born in the U.S. and yeah. he's uh, he's here. He's here legally. Well, under the present rules. Well, he. You know, he may have come over the fence or the or the wall the first time he came, but now he's here legally. Yeah, <laughs> under the present rules. Yeah, they could change those rules. Well, they changed rules on me at my apartment complex. I'm ready to move. Well, how do they change uh, stuff in your uh, rules at your apartment complex? Well, I moved in. They said you could have uh, uh, gr barbecue grills, gas barbecue grills on your patio. Yeah. So I got a really nice gas barbecue grill, and I enjoy grilling up the steak or chicken or whatever. And uh, last night, some woman's yelling us, don't you grill. All right. So the next day, yesterday, why, why today, can't, we why check can't, out. Why, why can't you grill? Well, I guess the office decided that no one could grill anymore, even though it was in the lease when we first signed up. So they said they sent a notice out. Nobody can use uh it can barbecue on the uh, things. And, and I looked it up. This seems to be a trend that's going uh, throughout a lot of cities where, uh, you know, they, they feel it pollutes the air. It's uh, secondhand smoke and uh, so forth. I mean, there's no smoke on my barbecue, but uh, they, I guess they say they can smell it. So now I'm, I'm going to look for another place, townhouse or something. Wow. Just because of that, you're moving? I like barbecuing. I would barbecue anyway. Who said you can't? The neighbor? Well, no, they said the, the complex. So I'd rather move on my terms than theirs. Oh, I see. Yeah. Wow. But it's in your lease that you can barbecue. So right. they can't they, change something in a lease they sign. They could say, when your lease, when your lease, uh, re renew your lease, uh, we'll put in that you can't have a barbecue. Well, my lease expired. I'm on a month to month now. Oh, mm -hmm. I see. Okay. Oh, so yeah. I've been here over a year. Totally Do you really want to move all that work? No, but I really want to be able to barbecue. I want a garage. Taking all uh, that stuff off your wall there in your studio, all the... Uh, the uh, it, it's hanging on, on foam core. I attached it to foam core. Oh, that's so, good. Uh, it, it'll be easy to move, and I think next time I'll throw it away. <laughs> you know? it, doesn't, it, it doesn't affect the sound, i got to tell you. No, no, it doesn't. Uh, but it's easier than throwing it away right now. Okay. Yeah, but, anyway. uh, yeah, can you believe these mumsers? Yeah. Uh, you know, no barbecues. So I started looking at others. They said that the fire department warned them or told them. So I called the fire department, and they put me on hold. Uh, I called a barbecue place in town, and they didn't know anything about it. So uh, And you, you told them that you wanted an answer because you were in a rush, and they said, where's the fire? Yeah, no, no. They, they, they said, oh, you've got the police department after I explained the whole thing. Let me connect you. <laughs> oh, really? By the yeah. way, let me, get well, to, let, me get, let me get to Al because we can't see him since he's on the phone. So, uh, so uh, Laura passed. 
I guess, right? Al? Uh, yes, he did. Uh, uh, I had cancer first, but uh, by a miracle, I survived. While I was under treatment, she was diagnosed incurable, and I was doing caregiver while I was uh, being radiated and wow. had a couple of surgeries. Uh, they're real good here at MD Anderson. I live uh, just outside of Houston, and they performed two miracles. I had two different cancers at the same time. How have you been doing, Mr. Bennett? Well, I at least don't have cancer that I know of, you know. Uh, I... I'm okay. You know, I when I complain about my health and then somebody like you calls up, I feel like a schmuck. You know? Nah. You know, I have a friend who has serious diabetes and he's fallen apart. And I just told him this morning that diabetes in a way is worse. Because cancer, it either kills you or you get cured. And if it kills you, it's over. As opposed to diabetes, he's been sick for decades. And in my case... I'm cured. I'm past remission. I'm cured. I'll, I'll tell you, I've got a friend. Um, Marjorie's got a friend. Used to be her workout partner. And they moved to uh, Washington. And he had prostate cancer. And one thing led to another. And now he's got like, you know, they say six months to live. Mm. And it, 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 he, she got a call today from the guy's wife who said it's gone to his brain. Oh, oh, I mean, this thing is just eating him away slowly, you know. And I, I, all I could think of was, you're in Washington. You can take the pipe, you know. Uh, they have, uh, uh -huh. the, you know. Laura wanted to. Laura wanted to. She was diagnosed incurable. And that chemotherapy, what it did is kept her alive for two miserable years. Would have been better for all around if she would have went right away. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, but you have to say goodbye that way. Well, there is a positive value, yeah, that you do get to say goodbye. I felt that way when my, my dad had uh, pancreatic cancer just under two years. And if he'd have died suddenly, I think it would have been more difficult than having the time to yeah, come but, to terms but, but, with it. And Okay, but that's, that's the self-serving, selfish answer. Yeah, you're right. Okay. What about them? Wouldn't it be better if he got hit by a Mack truck? Yeah, absolutely. You know, um, I, <laughs> it, it, but you're, you're absolutely right. It's easier on the uh, one who dies if it's suddenly, hello, yeah. pain in the chest, 30 seconds later, it's all over. Right. And it's very difficult for those left behind. However, if somebody. Do you know the Yiddish word, mitchering? No, no, I don't. <laughs> kind of suffering, okay? Yeah. Only worse. <laughs> yeah. And you suffer for a couple of years. It's worse on the patient, but the family does get an opportunity like I did. I knew there was no way she could make it. When M.D. Anderson says you're incurable, you're incurable. Yeah, M.D. Anderson, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, is probably the finest cancer hospital in the country i i my friend i had two i had a friend there who who died there eventually but they kept working on him for a couple of years and doing a pretty great job uh, by the way uh uh al you know we have like uh four, five other people on here with you and some of them raise their hands and i have oh, to, I understand have to that. go to I don't them want a monopoly. actually i got interested when you were talking of how much more things cost than I. I'll go after this. I just wanted to mention the top paid baseball player got a hundred thousand a year. Yeah. Now they get twenty five, thirty million. Yeah, that's what two hundred and fifty, three hundred yeah. times. Yeah, the minimum wage is up seven times. There's something wrong, ain't there? Yeah. Well, anyway, stick around, though. Just uh, listen to what's going on. If you want to jump in, jump in. I'll okay? um, uh, I took a sleeping pill a little while ago. I'm waiting for it to take effect. Well, if it takes effect, hang up so I don't just have <laughs> I will. I'll smoke a little herb, and it will bring it on quicker. We, we don't want to hear you snore. Uh, yes, Phil, you had your hand up. Uh, yeah. Okay, last listen, night. really good talking to you, old okay. man. Keep, okay. keep well. Okay, and call us again. I will next week. <laughs> uh, okay, great. Bye bye. Yeah, bye bye. Al. Good to talk to you. Sorry to hear about That's, Laura. Yeah, last night I was dealing with a friend who uh, found out he's got about a week left to live. He's got uh, idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis, which is what happens as you get scarring 
in the uh, in well, the Well, this lungs. is a happy show tonight. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, so he thought he had, you know, maybe a year, but they told him yesterday that he has maybe a week. So uh, and uh, so I was dealing with that. And, uh, yeah, that's that's a disease where uh, they don't know why it's incurable, uh, but uh, you can't get air or oxygen uh, to exchange to the blood. And so what happens is you either get pneumonia or you get a, a heart attack. He had a heart attack a couple of weeks ago. So, you know, what they told him now is that it's progressed to the point where uh, you're okay. not going Let to. Let me just take a, take a survey here. Everybody else here is okay? Yeah. Okay, fine. Yeah, so the palliative <laughs> care uh, people came to his house okay. yesterday and yeah. uh, he was a little depressed. Okay, all right. Yeah. There are people out there in the audience tonight with taking uh, take the gun out of your mouth. <laughs> uh, Mark, see how much better it is for everybody else. Mark, you, know, you feel good. Yeah. So Phil, is that is your friend getting treatment? The, there's no treatment. Uh, they gave him a couple of experimental drugs. One of them he feels gave him the heart attack. Uh, they're they're, uh, they're like taking a pill that gives you chemo. Uh, it's, uh, uh, you know, very hard, but he's so weak. He can't get out of his, he can't get out of bed. Uh, you know, he, uh, he's just got no strength whatsoever. He's 70 and, uh, wow. yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. My, my point in asking you that is I find it, I would find it repulsive that he had, he got a voucher. <laughs> yes. About the cost. Yeah. Uh, he, he's uh, he's 70, so he didn't have to worry about the cost. Why uh, is it? Well, he's got Kaiser, and it's and it's covered. And uh, no, but he doesn't have Kaiser because he's uh, Ki yeah. Kaiser won't take you if you're eligible for Medicare. Either that, or they use the Medicare to take care of you. They must use the Medicare to take yeah, care of him because, because he it, has been and always was with Kaiser. And when he had the heart attack, he was at Kaiser. Yeah, I mean, okay. It, let, let, let's assume he's with on Medicare. Uh, yeah, I'm sure he is. Okay, would a vo would he would he be better off with a voucher? It wouldn't make a difference. He's going to die one way or another. How do you know how much it costs? It it doesn't matter. Uh, he, he's not going to have to pay for it. <laughs> well, you know, there are people. Yeah, you missed the point. I guess. Uh, I I get your point. Uh, you know, but, you know, I, I, I talk to people, Phil. I talk to people who. Uh, were dying of cancer and also had to figure out how they were going to pay for it. You know, having to deal with, with um, mothers, with uh, children who have leukemia, and they're having to deal with the insurance companies and getting them to pay off. Oh, yeah. You know? it's, it's and a, it's, it's, terrible, it's terrible what people have to do in order to just stay alive. And uh, it's, it it's a terrible be. thing when you're at the end of life. That's the last thing you want to think about. His wife called me today and she says uh, he doesn't want to talk about, uh, you know, being he uh, being buried or uh, being cremated. So I said, well, don't bring it up. Just do what you want to do after. Don't don't even ask him. You know, it, it's not if he doesn't want to talk about it, then don't put that on his back. And uh, the, 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 the reality is and I and I just went through this not too long ago. If you're in really serious trouble, you, you're not in a position to shop around. No, if you're, you're in serious you, trouble, you're not. But you, you, you just have to a accept lot of, a lot of the procedures. What, what comes to you, and, well, and, of, and and the cost control is not in your. You don't have the ability to do that. In in uh, in some cases, that's true. But in many 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 cases. Uh, you can shop around if they tell you. Let's to take your friend. Can he shop around? Well, he, uh, well, yeah, he could have. Phil, let me oh. ask you something. How about somebody who's suffering, uh, like my mother is? My mother's eighty-five. She's suffering with uh, dementia. Mm -hmm. How is she going to shop around? All she has to do is call Gabnet. Everybody's got dementia here, <laughs> but. Uh, uh, you know, she has uh, uh, caregivers. She has guardians. She has people that are interested in her well-being, and they are the ones that are going to have to do it for her. She's not going to be able to do it, of course, if she has dementia. But she could have, uh, you know, you or uh, one of your. Uh, That's uh, fine, and and you know what? That works for her, but that won't work for me because I don't have a me to take care of me. When you know what I'm saying? You got your wife. Well, I mean. Uh, Maybe. That's your brother. 
Uh, you know, you, two years younger than me. Yeah. You know what I'm and, saying? It's you make this difficult on on the elderly, and it just seems wrong. Yeah. Well, I I, I am not saying that they should eliminate uh, Medicare. But when you uh, talk vouchers and you talk all that stuff, you 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 compli as it is as a fifty as a sixty year old. Every time I turn around, I spend more time. Every time you go to a doctor, you spend more time with crap trying to figure out. You get a call from you know the, your flexible spending plan, and they want to know. They want you to justify the cost of something, and they send you a bill, and 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 then you call up your doctor, and your doctor sends you a bill, but those two bills don't match because your doctor sent the payments in different orders on different dates, and and you, I, I can only imagine. It, it can confounds the crap out of me today. I can only imagine 10 years from now. You want to know, there's one other thing. When we talk about eliminating Medicare, uh, what we're uh, talking about eliminating, and, and Social Security in some cases, is the only two people, groups basically, affected by Medicare, if it were to be removed, are old people and children. Right. Mm -hmm. How to me, it makes no sense that you're going to fuck around with anything that would impact the lives of children and old people. I think that you're uh, that there's a lot of uh, angst over this and it may be all for nothing. Uh, nothing has been done. Uh, people, you suppose, know, Ryan suppose says that he wants this. Do you think yeah, that but, uh, suppose uh, suppose all this angst turns out to be. The, our worst fears realized. <laughs> oh, I <laughs> no, guess in four Trump years, president, and now look, look, in in two years, you'll get a chance to vote that Congress out. You'll get a chance to change the uh, the uh, the uh, the uh, level of uh, uh, of participation in the Congress. And uh, and, so, and that's two years when these people can totally fuck up this country. That's true. Although if they don't fuck it up and they make it better. That's that's also what I'm thinking is going to happen. But, uh, you know, if you if you this can't go on forever, if they do something that affects old people that much, there's such a number of old people that they'll just vote the bums out. And I have no problem. What, what, with, what, what can't go on forever? Well, if uh, let's say the Trump administration uh, creates all these vouchers and all this negative stuff mm -hmm. for old people and, and two years. That can all change because in the next two years there'll be another another election. But you can't you, once you set things in in motion to turn them around and get them going in the other direction. Oh, whoops, we're not going to do it that way. Oh, and and let me ask you this: Do you think that the Congress would take a chance of getting voted out by uh, allowing Medicare and uh, Medicaid and uh, what was the other one? Uh, uh, Social Security to be taken away. Do you not think that there would be a revolution of of old people uh, uh, trying to burn down the castle? There's no way that would ever happen because none of these guys in Congress would ever get reelected, and they know it. Yeah, and we said there was no way Trump was going to get elected. So you know, yes, uh, Jeff had his hand up. I I think that the Senate and the congressmen <clears throat> should really experiment by doing this. And the way they should do it is take their own government uh, medical stuff away mm -hmm. and let them start with them and their family on your voucher system. What a great idea. Phil, yeah, you want to come on that too. Yeah. You want to be part of that experiment. No, 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 because no, I'm, I'm waiting. I got two and a half years for Medicare. I'm, I'm, I'm first in line. <laughs> Well, you voted for the party that wants to do away with that. No, I, see, that's I, voted, I voted for Trump, and Trump wants to make America great again, not, uh, not take away uh, uh, the uh, lives of, uh, of the people in America. He wants to make it great again. And we're talking, and I voted for him for economic reasons. I voted for him for our standing in the, in the world uh, uh, position, uh, and not for uh, taking away the lifeline for uh, people that need it. But you know that that's what his party stands for. He, but he doesn't like his party. His party didn't vote for him. His party didn't support him. He won uh, regardless of what his party stood for. Uh, that, that party uh, is the party of, uh, of Romney and what he said during that, uh, that, uh, that 
uh, lecture that he gave the world and and tried to give it to Trump. You know, th th these are not the people that I support. I support what, Trump. What 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 is our standing in the world that bothers you? Uh, we we'll, we're looked at as uh, weak. We're oh. looked at as uh, vulnerable, and uh, we're uh, we're hmm. giving away our resources and our jobs and our uh, pos uh, uh, position. Uh, wait, our, wait, 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 wait. To earn. What, what resources are we giving away? Well, you know, we ship out a lot of the oil that we produce. Uh, uh, and we're also shipping out our jobs. Our jobs are our resources, too. Uh -huh. and, uh, and, and you really think that by, manufacturing. The, by the plans he has that he's going to bring jobs back to America? Well, I'm Look, going to, I, I don't care what you think, but I'm going to give him a chance. Let me, I'm, let not, me ask you I'm this. not giving him the time of fucking day. Yes, <laughs> yes, Rob. Uh, let me ask you this. You said we're shipping our oil out of this country. Are you trying to tell me that you think Donald Trump or the Republicans should stop oil companies from selling oil on an open free market wherever they want to sell it and only allow them to sell it here in the states? Mm. Is that what you're saying? That's a good Republican question to if, ask, Rob. If, if we have enough resources and there's an overabundance of oil, let them sell it elsewhere. But, but if there is... Oil has gone down since since Obama took over. It's yeah. at a very manageable level right now, understand. but that's only because the dollar is so strong. <laughs> if the dollar, <laughs> Why know, did that happen? If well, you see, the dollar needs to be pegged uh, to uh, to a uh, to a level that uh, that has some representation. Our dollar isn't worth anything legitimately. But it's strong. Uh, you just got through saying that. How did well, it get strong? strong which, which, is keeping, uh, which is keeping the price down. But uh, it's not realistic for it to be this strong against the other currencies. Why? So what's happening is other, other countries are selling their stuff to our country and getting dollars and not yuans and, and other currencies. It's called wands, by the way, not wands. yuans. Okay. Well, anyway, what happens is is when you when you have a strong currency, you're not uh, you're not exporting anything. You're buying stuff, and uh, so we're making other economies strong with our strong dollar. I would rather have a weaker dollar so that we stay uh, domestic uh, in our per in our manufacturing and purchases, and we can't afford the stuff that's coming over from China, that their their stuff is more expensive. And that puts Americans to work. Oh, look at that. Hmm. What are you looking at, Scott? You're saying, oh, oh look at that. Oh, I'm nothing. I'm, I'm, I need to shut my mic off, I guess. I'm, I'm <laughs> learning a, a computer programming while I'm listening to you guys. Why, what, why are you doing what kind of computer programming? Uh, it's just JavaScript right now. You write JavaScript? I'm, I'm trying to learn, yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, yeah, I, 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 I read, never, you know, I ne uh, the only thing I ever wrapped my brain around was basic, yeah, and that was it, you know, and and even that, you know, it, that whole idea of programming. You were a programmer, right? No, 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 you weren't. What were you exactly? What just just a uh, electronic engineer? It, yeah, okay, okay, oh. because uh, programmers always seem like Martians to me. You know, they yeah, were speaking it's, it's... in this language that. You know, I, I, once I tried to learn one of those languages like COBOL or whatever, forget it. Forget it. Yeah. It's you like know it a, you know, it was a hot stock with Java Sun Microsystems, I think, at the time. Were they the ones of a Java? I think, I think they didn't they they owned the rights to it or something? I, I, possibly. Yeah. Sun, yeah. I think, started uh, Oracle. Did they start Oracle? Oracle. Started started Java, but now it's uh, who is Oracle, it? Now? Oracle owns Oracle. Sun now. Yeah. And Oracle owns Java. I, I'm not sure of no. that. I'm not sure of that. I'm wondering who owns Google. Java now. Yeah, I don't know. I thought it was in the late, early 90s. I remember they were in Google. Yeah, they were big, and, and, ja and, and Oracle bought them pretty much to quell them because, um, you know, because they were a big competitor. Yeah, they were, yeah, they were like really hot. Yeah. I'm interested in this whole, I heard the beginning of the thing with the empty vessel. I like that. See, that's what scares me with Trump, what Alex said. I'm not trying to, he, Phil says I agree with Alex a lot. I do a little bit. But that's it's what scares me, Phil. Is, was what I said. Oh, I do kiss your hand a little bit. But here's the question. Won't you open this up? Doesn't it scare you, Phil, that it seems like he is a little bit of an empty suit, though, Trump? And they're like his puppet, like they control him? Empty what? 
Like he's like he, it seems like he is like a puppet like for them. Trump. He gives me that impression. Like he's, like, you know what it is. He's so lazy. He's letting other people make the yeah, decision. Yeah, you know, exactly. It, it's. I don't, you don't think, want to be because you got to remember this is the first time in his life that he's ever been an employee. Well, you know, he's <laughs> he's taking care of the top priorities first, which is to get a transition team and a cabinet well, and, <laughs> and to and to fill the positions. And if he doesn't go to a couple of briefings that he doesn't need right now, he <laughs> go, go. once he has his transition team, mm -hmm. uh, uh, put you together. know what? You just work a little harder, but he doesn't know how to work that. Why hard. Can't okay. he, go? Well, he doesn't know how to he doesn't know how to work the kind of hard that a president has to work. It's just national security. He's ignoring. <laughs> yeah. 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 Right. I love you, Scott. It's only uh, national you know, security that he's. All the other, all the other presidents, when they made the transition, didn't have to worry about filling the positions because they were all been, being filled by the insiders that have fed at the trough of the United States for so long. Oh, come it's, on. The same, it's the same bunch of insiders. Uh, wait a minute, Phil. Uh, you, uh, listen to Rob. What, what were we saying, Rob? He's you're laughing a little bit about that. He's filling right. it with Wall Street billionaires. That's what he's doing. Well, you know, at least he wouldn't have to pay him unemployment. But, uh, <clears throat> you know, the, the thing is, uh, he's, he's filled it with that woman that uh, happened to be a billionaire, the, the guy from Goldman Sachs. But, may, you know, this guy from Goldman Sachs wasn't one of the guys that, uh, uh, that they went after. I, you know, I, I didn't read anything bad about that. Yeah, he got away with it. <laughs> well, you know. You're talking about Steve Mnuchin? Yeah, he made, his, he made his money foreclosing on people that had reverse mortgages. That's right, and he people. also somehow profited by the uh, whole uh, shenanigans that went on with what's his name the 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 the, the uh, what's his name the guy that's in prison made now off. for oh, uh, Madoff, the guy who never made an actual trade Madoff. Made he's, he's made off. Yeah, before the whole thing blew up, he was able to withdraw all of his money. Oh my God. Hmm. Uh, if Phil looks upon that as a hero. Yeah. If, see. No insider information. Yeah, Bonnie and Clyde were great, too. Uh, yeah. They got caught. <laughs> you know, and just like Here's the question I've got about Trump, and, and I, I'm just going to just kind of ride it out and see how it goes. But what is he? He's got, like, twin Trump towers being built in Istanbul, Turkey. The leader of Turkey, that Erdogan guy, is an uh, Islamist. Mm-hmm. How, what's, how's he going to deal with those kind of conflicts? I guess maybe when they stay there, they'll get a discount. But, uh, you know, I, I don't see That's not funny, but, but, but I, I, I think I, my point funny is... Funny guys have, have, have to deal with stuff. <laughs> but you know what? Uh, he's... He's divesting himself by allowing his children to take over his company. And I don't That's divesting yourself. You're not divesting yeah. yourself when you have your kids take over the company. And no, when you, you have your kids, Mark, do you have any kids with a job? Sure. Okay, so they work for a place. Do you have any influence over their their employers? It's different. They don't work for it's me. Not, it's a yeah. family business. Well, they don't work for him if he doesn't have anything to do with it. It's just, it's been passed down. Oh, so really? how about, you, you don't? How about, how about the fact that his, his kids, these ones who are supposed to be off running the family business, are going to meetings with these world leaders? How is that? <laughs> well, because he's not the president yet. He's an elect. Well, what? No, wait, 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 uh, can we? If he in. keeps, if he keeps doing this shit when he's president, will that be wrong? Yes. Okay, okay, well, how many how many people here think he's going to keep doing that shit while he's president? Raise your hand. Well, oh, we well, we have a unanimous no, decision here. Kids at the meeting with China. So will you will you when that happens come on this program and say I was wrong? Absolutely. Good. We'll, we'll, I, I, I believe that uh, he's a serious guy and he's serious about what he's doing. And I think that <laughs> you guys are so hate filled and, well, and biased. It isn't, hate, it isn't filled. We aren't filled with hate. We listened to what the what the salesman was trying to sell us. And we decided it was bogus and that he was, in fact, not a decent human being. OK. Well, you know, I think that uh, he was being uh, harangued by uh, by his opponents, and well, uh, no, he was that, being criticized by his opponents because that's what opponents do. Right, but you're believing, and the you criticism. don't think that what he was saying in his little tweets and shit like that were it wasn't abominable. Some of it, most of it. 
Well, uh, you know, I'm not going to agree with you on on this situation until I see the I see what okay. happens. But you've see already seen. Wants, you've what all, you do. But, it's but, not what you but say. But, but no, uh, it, right. and and I'm 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 judging how I feel about Trump based on what he's done. Right. And he said hasn't done anything. What he's done? He's well, no. What, what do you mean? He's sent out tweets that have berated people. He's oh. made. He's made fun. He's made fun of a gold star parents. He's mm -hmm. uh, you know he's done Those a whole lot of horrible him, things. He went back after them. <laughs> no, they were. They this is what you want running with your hands on the. You, the, you, the, right? the, you want a president that thin skinned, eh? I want a stand up guy. I'm tired of these. He's these, not a stand-up uh, guy. I'm this, tired this. of these phony, uh, you know, uh, uh, people that, uh, you know, uh, water off the back, the whole thing. You know, you slap me, I'll slap you back. Who uh, wants a brawl in the White House? Yeah. Uh, I, I oh, hey, Jeff, Jeff, Jeff yeah, hold on a second. Jeff has his hand up. I think you talk about you don't want a kind of people who are phonies. Yeah. He is about the biggest phony in the world, uh, and he's a professional phony. And he's going to stay that way because that's the way he lives. But just remember, and, you and, and anything else that you say, Phil, yeah. you really don't know anything about it. And, and you're going to find out how bad it really is. No, well, but no he's you find out how good it is. You know, I hope you're right, but I know you're wrong. I hope a year from now, everything is so wonderful that I've got to say, Phil, you were right. Me yeah. you know, <laughs> and I don't think there's a person on this panel that doesn't feel that. But uh -huh. I, I don't think we're going to have to. And I, yeah. I think you're going to sit there and still keep making excuses for him, no matter how bad his behavior and how bad his decisions are. We'll see. I, I, I'll take it one further, Alex. I'll bet you Phil won't be making excuses for him because he's going to be so bad. Five. Really? He's going to be so bad. He's oh. not going to be. It's not going to be nebulous. It's not going to be like our typical politician, hey. where you can look one way or the other at something. Like you could take, uh, uh, you could take numbers and, and make uh, a case either side. It's going to be so bad that everybody's going to agree. Rob, you're the guy that says, "How full is the glass, or how empty?" I am, Mister Half Empty. It's I've Mr. been called Mr. pessimistic. It's Mister Half Empty. I've been called Mr. Negativity by co-workers I've worked with over the years. Okay. No question about it. I'll be the first. Okay. It's tough to fight, but in you know, a year or so, uh, hopefully Alex will have a job. But if he doesn't, uh, we'll be sitting here. Uh, either you guys will be apologizing to me saying, geez, I didn't realize he was that great a guy. Uh, <laughs> well, when he, takes, when he takes away our Social Security, I'll be sitting here eating cat for dinner. Well, <laughs> yes. Uh, Jeff has his hand up. Yeah. Yeah. I have a, I have a great suggestion for you, Phil. Yeah. I go, you, I, I'm promoting you to becoming the vice president of Trump from this group. Uh, you're, you're, you're going to be represent us as the vice president, and your job is is to only do one thing. You should say everything is better than expected, and I want that's the only thing I want you to say. And I want you to keep saying that every day. As long as Trump is president, okay. Well, and that'll that, true. and that'll make you happy. You'll smile, and and what, whatever happens to us doesn't mean shit. No, no, no. It's you know, it's we it's got those wagons way. that go around and picks picks up the bodies from the plague. You know, when we were all dying of the plague in the street, we you know we take you and burn you outside of town. Uh, you know, it's it's. I think that it's a much to do about nothing. The guy's going to come in. There's checks and balances. He's not going to be able to go in and do what you feel he's going to do. I think you're being scared by the media. You're being scared by these uh, uh, people that are were trying to put Trump down, and that was guys like Ryan and the, and the Republican Party. Uh, the Republican Party uh, hates Trump just as much as you guys do. Uh, they just they just had to you know ride his coattails now because they uh, th didn't expect he'd win. Matter of fact, Ryan was asked uh, in an interview yesterday, "Do you do you did you get caught off guard?" He says, "I never expected uh, Trump to win." And uh, you know these guys came out against him, did everything they could do uh, to to put Hillary in in the in the White House, and uh, he won to spite them. Uh, I don't think that uh, whatever ideas they're coming up with that they feel will uh, create uh, issues w uh, for Trump, I don't think he's going to fall for it.
So uh, the first 100 days are going to be big then, I guess, right? Well, uh, yeah, I think he's going to eliminate the uh, Internet. Uh, and uh, you can only have one dog if you're one boy. You know, no two dogs for you. Or me. Yeah. So yeah. let me ask you, why, why is he interviewing Mitt Romney for Secretary of State? Frog legs. Did you see he, that? Could, he could be... Uh, he, he could be screwing with Mitt Romney, number one. I think I think he's just trying to embarrass Romney. That's what I think. Uh, I you know if he picks him, uh, then we're wrong about that. But uh, he seems. But you to know be going something though. I think of all the people that I've read, uh, I don't read really, uh, but that I've heard, he has nominated for various positions. Uh, that would maybe be the one choice that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I mean, the guy has the kind of a diplomacy that could yeah. work in that kind of marketplace. Sending Giuliani out to be Secretary <clears throat> of State is an insanity, an absolute I don't think insanity. I don't think Giuliani is going to be anything but a top advisor. You know, uh, one of the out guys, outside guys that he brings into the White House that can walk in and out. Do you think? Do you think Giuliani wants to be an outsider? No. Do you think he sat there rimming, doing a rim job on Trump every single day of that uh, of that uh, uh, I campaign wanted, to come out with nothing? I think he wanted to be president, but at least he's in the limelight again, which is something that he wasn't prior to the Trump uh, election. So uh, I, I just don't see him uh, having a uh, a high level post that is uh, that is official. I, Romney I, I called him a dishonest con man. Doesn't Ronald matter what Romney called him. Yeah, you know Romney. Romney's now kissing his ass and going to dinner with him. Hey, so Ronald obviously Blake. Romney's no, words. No, look, look, look. I, I'm not a big fan of Romney's. Never was. Never will be. But Romney, if he's nothing else, is a gentleman. Okay, I think we can all agree on that. Yeah, he's a family man. Uh, he's a family man. He's 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 he's, he's 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 honest. He's a Mormon. He's honest. Yeah, uh, sure. uh, so all that being true, uh, of course he would go out with Trump because he's a gentleman. Because he was asked to go out, he wanted to, uh, Trump wanted to talk to him, and he was willing to give him his ear. He's not trying to kiss his ass. He's just being what I what I think is the best thing about Romney. Well, then, okay. uh, you know, he may choose Romney. Uh, I, I have a feeling he will. And because he seems to uh, take people from all different, uh, you know, whether they liked him or not. I mean, there were other people that were out. Well, what's he going to appoint Rosie O'Donnell then? Uh, uh, yeah, well, she, she, she's a pig. <laughs> you know. He has not picked anybody that. Who, what did you say about Rosie O'Donnell? I, I said what uh, Trump said about her. Uh, she's a pig. Oh. Yeah. He's he has not appointed anybody that's a, that said anything critical. No, about uh, uh, there was a uh, I'm trying to think of the name of the woman that he just appointed. Uh, uh, it wasn't the Nikki one that Haley. the the Asian. Look, he hasn't uh, appointed anybody. It wasn't the he Asian one. It was a, it was Nikki another. Haley. He, he, uh, he, 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 oh, most of these posts, from Maine or something. Yeah, but or? he's not. He hasn't appointed any of these people. He's uh, he's nominating them. Nominated them. Right. You know, only the personal people that are close to him, like uh, the uh, chief of staff or whatever. Right. Art and Rice, Reince Priebus. Yeah. Mad Dog made us. Yeah, Mad Dog. <laughs> hey, he's respected. You know. Uh, he, he, he says he wants to kill anybody that, that, that opposes the United States. I like so it. How's he supposed to get along with Petraeus? <laughs> This is a comment. all the all this the Arabs in the Arab Spring to, to go along with us. It's you amazing. know, uh, Matus was the one that felt that Iran uh, was uh, uh, that that deal with Iran was a bad deal, and that's why Obama fired him. And uh, well, you know, it was a good deal. That's because it was a good deal. It wasn't a good deal. It was a good deal how for many Obama. Have died, how many people have died so far? Well, wait till they get their atomic bomb. We'll oh. see. Speaking of atomic bombs, did you see the headline in the Washington Post that Donald Trump has the sole authority to launch nukes and no one can say anything about it? It's a fail-safe system. I read something else that said that he doesn't. Well, that's wrong. I've read places where people... It's wrong. The that... president has a fail-safe. If he gives the order, it's a done deal, period. And I, and I trust that he'll do the right thing. 
Well, then why would you say you heard read something that then he will, the, he, will be, he will be the he will he will be the first one since Hiroshima to do anything and Nagasaki to do anything you know, about now it. now you're talking about bomb dropping two minutes ago you were talking about yeah. vouchers you you guys are are so uh, afraid of your own shadows that no you we're not afraid of our own shadows else. we're afraid of Trump's shadow. That's right. Well, see the movie War Games. See, he's we don't, we don't, we don't trust he's a guy a who is a cannon. He's a loose cannon. He proved uh, that in the election, getting up at three o'clock in the morning and tweeting horrible tweets. This is the <laughs> kind of person who's going to make a nuclear decision. He don't even watch late night TV. I, I think he's TV. surrounding himself with the right people, and he's not going to make a decision like that without it being warranted. He's he's putting in charge. He wants to put in charge of uh, Medicare and and so on. Somebody I think I don't know the name off Prince. Prince. No, who, who, Price. Who, uh, Pr Price. 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 His name's Price. Price. Who is very much against Medicare. Yeah. You know, why don't you hire people that are going to look at the system and try to improve it rather than look at the system and destroy it? Well, I think it's a failed system. So I it like is a failed system. system. How's it a failed system, Phil? Well, it's it's out. It's it's uh, it's not self-funding. Uh, uh, wait a minute. Uh, it is self-funding. It's you people that were stealing from it and from Social Security. People, and, last and by years, the way, the surplus in Social Security could have taken care of Medicare. But let me let me, no let me surplus. let me ask let me ask some people here, Phil. Jeff, you're on Medicare, right? Uh, turn your yeah. mic on. Yeah. Yes. Uh, bad system. Not too bad. Not too bad. How about Mark? Keeps me alive. How's, how about that? Medicare. Good or bad system? Good. Prior to Medicare, people that were my age, you know, or older, had to rely on charity. They had to beg, essentially, to get, to get treated. I find that to be totally an offensive situation. Okay, but... but if, we can't, if we can't provide... For the the elderly people, insurance it's it providing insurance for older people is not a, a profitable business. There's no profitable model for that business. Well, he, but the point no. is that what I'm saying is he says Medicare is a failure. Do you find using it that it's a failure? Using it, it it's a gift. It. It's an absolute blessing for people that are you know that age and I see nothing wrong with uh, with with Medicare and if in fact there are money problems involved in it it's because we should have been able to take the surplus in in Social Security and use it to bolster let, let me tell you something about surplus. Medicare there is a tremendous amount of fraud yeah tremendous amount of fraud yeah, yeah. Okay. The, well, and, that's and we should, that's we should be say. dealing with it. Yeah. Instead yeah. of arguing whether Medicare is good or bad, we should be dealing with that. As a well, maybe that's what they got to deal you with. You want to know what part of that with fraud with is? Drug prices. And do you yeah. want to know what Medicare can't negotiate? Drug, Drug prices. Right. So isn't it time that somebody gets in there and straightens the bullshit you out? Think, and do you think in your wildest imagination that Donald Trump, tycoon, yeah. Is going to tell the in, the uh, uh, pill companies, the prescription pill companies, what they have to charge for stuff? Not yeah. on your life. Because he didn't have to take money not, from not them to get elected. On, not on your life. He didn't have to sell just because soul he didn't like have Hillary to. Does. It's not in his DNA to say to uh, a to a how do you to know a, what's in his uh, DNA. How do you know what's in his? DNA? I look at his life history. It's, yeah, well, he just he's said, had seventy hey, years he, of bad behavior. He said being president is more important than his buildings, his name, or anything else. And he, sell, is going, and he made a promise. Okay. He made a promise. Oh, hold on a second. We're getting called back by David Hajek. Uh -oh. He must be. Uh, David, you, got, yeah. you have something to say, don't you? Yeah, I, I lost Wi-Fi signal, so I didn't know what we, you were talking about. Oh, oh, you came just at the right time. Oh. Oh, I don't know. Phil's in the middle of uh, uh, saying how broken Medicare is. Uh, and... Oh my God, Phil! <laughs> I mean, I, I I listened to the 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 show before mm -hmm. before yesterday, and it was a disaster. Hi, it was a great show. Are you kidding? Oh, no, no, last night was a great show. <laughs> yeah, but, last you know, night was nice. It was mellow. It was a uh, very yeah, mellow, good yeah. show yeah. last night. Yeah. You but you had no callers. 
What do you mean I had no callers? I, well, very I, few. I, you had Scott and you had Rob. I had I a total of almost, well, I'm with me, seven callers. Hmm? Yeah. Uh, uh, I, I listened to the show, no and mid-show you were saying, do I need Phil on here to get some callers? Well, because <laughs> yeah. people weren't calling, but then they called, and uh, we had a very good on. show. Yes, Jeff. Yeah. I was on yesterday. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. So here's a question. You're right on. Uh, yes, yes, uh, Tony. Yeah, like... This is like, say like, I'll answer this to Phil. He's supposed to be the big businessman, which would, like, say, Trump and all these people. If Medicare is such a problem, why can't, in his financial wisdom, come up with a way to secure the funding for it then? That's Instead what of just he's going to do. He's going to fix it. He's going to look into these things. He's going to get the next off the shit, Phil. Okay, let, let, let he says, hey, 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 he's going to get Phil, the best you, been, you, talk, you talk like... Maybe 50% of the time on the show. Let David say something. Huh. He's not going to fix shit, Phil. You know? <laughs> Very intelligent. Who? Uh, that, was, that was no, well, well said, David. I, I appreciate it. But you really do need Medicare for the people when they retire because how are they really going to pay the medical bills? Jeez, you can't Tony, who knows Jesus. if Medicare is the, is, the, is the answer, or maybe it is. But you don't know that, and, you, and if you're too afraid oh, so to go I, in... I get, I get well, here's, 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 here's your plan. Let's take Medicare away for a while and see if it doesn't, or it does, or it doesn't work. Go back and then Medicare after away. hundreds of thousands of people have died from lack of medical care, the, you'll go, whoops... And even then put Obamacare, it back even Obamacare, he said if they come up with a different plan, they're not going to eliminate Obamacare until everybody is taken care of with the new plan. So, you know, they're not going to do things overnight where there's death squads and and, and concentration okay. camps for old people. Okay, Phil, um, Phil, Phil, guys, Phil, guys Phil, are off please, your rocker. please, Phil, I'll make please, Phil. You, David. please, Phil, this is <laughs> your show. Fiction, Phil. Please. Huh? There'll be no change. There'll be there'll be no getting rid of Obamacare because they won't be able to replace it. Right. They, they don't. The Republicans what? haven't had an idea. I saw an interview with one of the architects of the plan, and every step along the way, President Obama said, "You got an idea? We're willing to listen. Let's 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 collaborate here." Everybody said, "No, no, no! It's garbage! It's garbage! It's garbage!" But nobody presented any help. On it, so there's no there, that, nobody no, the has an idea amongst them. The Republicans yeah. had a plan. I don't uh, know what it yeah, was. But, plan. Okay, you know, okay. Uh, enough, yeah. Phil. Enough, Phil. Other people need to talk right. now. Uh, David, I I'm so tired of Phil. I I I really he's a delusional. He, I I don't understand how he can say that uh, that Medicare is broken. This, this is unbelievable. These old people in Florida are already upset about Medicare and because they voted for Trump and now they are like, oh no, we, we want our Medicare, you know? <laughs> What's wrong with it? You know what I think, too? What? I, I could be wrong. This may sound totally crazy, but it sounds to me like at least they want people to go back to working. They want you to work till you die, really. Yeah. I mean, no matter where it is, yeah, but you can't work. You can't work till you, you, to work till you yeah, die because it. after you're 55 or 60, nobody's going to hire you. Right? No one. You know, they don't care where they work. I mean, it sounds it's sad, though. Really, you should be able to collect something. You know, I knew that at 73, when I was let go at Sirius XM, that was the last job I was ever going to have because my mother's worried about me. If, if I if I walk in somewhere looking for a job. Uh, that uh, that 23 year old behind the desk at HR is going to look at me like I'm a Martian. You well, what said? What's the voucher system? I said I have no idea, Ma. Only you know what the voucher system is. We're going to have to pay for it. I think that's what it sounds like. Yeah. Uh, take it away. But I, uh, you know, uh, it's 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 um, you know we keep getting into this this question about medical care and it just shouldn't be a question, especially where that's older right. people are concerned. See, Phil, don't you see Alex's point there? No. He doesn't see it? Uh, no. Because he, to fix not, Medicare, he nodded his head for all, all the people who don't watch the TV version of this. Uh, to, fix, to fix our medical system in this country, it's going to start with the drug companies. It has to. I wonder how you do that. Well, the problem, you, the see, here's companies. the problem with the drug companies is that, for instance, where Medicare was concerned, when they came up with Medicare Part D to take care of prescription drug, 
uh, one of the things, provisions that was put in there and forced by, in by the Republicans was that Medicare could not negotiate with the drug companies. Now, what a better negotiator than Medicare who has hundreds and hundreds of thousands of thousands of people on their rolls and would be able to go in and say, look, you can't charge that. We're not going to pay that from you. We'll take it from the other guy, you know. It's and, like built in sabotage. Yeah. And because they couldn't negotiate it, these guys will charge whatever they want to. I mm. mean, you, you know, we talk about this guy who had a pill that was, what, $100 and it went up to $500 a pill or, or uh, uh, a 30 day no. prescription. Uh, I, I have the stuff for IBS where a couple of years ago I was paying, it was $300 and now it's $2,000. And nobody's going after the him, them like they went after this guy, and they should. Market because it's highway robber. Market. Wait, what, David? Free market. <laughs> you better have gone on the black market. I, I, it's not a free market, but why do you think uh, uh, they don't want Trump? Why do you think the Republicans didn't want Trump, the Democrats didn't want Trump, the Independents didn't want Trump? They I'm didn't want him. Much. He's going to renegotiate those things, and, uh, that, and they've been reaping the fat on these drugs for a long time, uh -huh. and the Republicans are, are sitting there feeding at the trough just like everyone oh, okay. else. We'll wait, and we'll wait and see when that happens. Let's we'll wait, wait and see. I, I cannot okay. wait to call after one year or two and, and, and talk to you, Phil. I will laugh. No, you will be will singing the praises of Trump. If you're okay. right, Phil, and he wants to do all that, and the Republicans hate him, they'll treat him just like he's the Democratic president and not give him shit. So nothing nope. will get done. Then he'll do it by executive order. Just no, like he won't. Oh, Obama loved the executive orders, right? He was writing like crazy. Well, truthfully, Obama didn't do it as much as the other ones, but... Bush did a lot more, right? Yeah. I mean, he was the executive. Don't vote on that uh, who who did the most? There was somebody who did the most executive orders. I think it was Reagan. Was it Reagan? Yeah. You employ Reagan. See what I mean? He's powerful, right? Yeah. Uh, 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 Jeff, Jeff. Reagan was a sellout to the, yeah. to I don't the know insiders just as yeah. much as yeah. Carter and just as much as the rest of them. Jeff's got his hand up. Jeff. Yeah, just to remind you on uh, some of the great Republican uh, systems on how to handle the drug business. Uh, there's Same a thing, thing called... There's a thing called a donut hole. Mm -hmm. Do you know what that is? Yeah, that's oh, like when you that. get up around, what, 3,500 or 2,500? There's uh, a, that's when you have IBS no, and you got to no, sit at, on at a 20, cushion. $2,500, and then there's like between 2,500 and 4,000, they don't pay anything. And then, I'm on that right now. You're in the middle of the donut, right? I'm in a donut, and guess so what? So you get, you go in a Dunkin', huh? The, pro, the prices of, of everything I'm going now, which used to be, I would say, you know, reasonable stuff, under 50 bucks, okay? Now everything is $200, $300. How can you blame that on Trump? He said I he is. You, you'll find a way. How can you blame that on Trump? Well, you, we aren't blaming it on Trump. He's talking. He's not, Trump he's, is the one that's saying that he's against, uh, you know, no, all this no, bullshit. You gotta listen to I never said. heard him say donut hole once. In any of his speeches, I didn't even heard the tweet. Okay. He tweeted about it. No, you know, uh, he, did he find me the find me the tweet? Find me the tweet right now, Phil. Go online and find me the tweet, me the tweet where he mentioned Save donut Trump. hole. All right, that's a good question. There it is, right, right here. Tweet. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know, uh, he, he is wants to renegotiate these bad deals. Now, some of the bad deals were made with other governments, but a lot of the bad deals were made by our own government in our own country. And let's see if he's such a great negotiator. Let him negotiate it. If uh, if it comes to foreign policy, let Mad Dog handle it. Who's you know? Mad Dog? That's Chris Russo. But generally, just a uh, yeah. He's got a guy named. No, no, that's just no. <laughs> 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 Holy shit! This is here for so By the way, but as long That's as you got him here, David, how's your health That's what doing? You need for a yeah, hold on. How, how's your health doing, David? I'm doing great. Yeah, David. Yeah. Can I ask a question? I don't want to be an interviewer here, but uh, you lost your hair because of the uh, because of the treatments, or was this just a natural thing? Did the radiation from the proton therapy cause you to lose your hair? Yes. Uh, why? Why? I, I I read that you don't lose your hair when, if, when the stuff. Well, you won't lose your hair because they're plugs. Well, no. I mean, I was I was I was losing 
her anyway, but uh, it it made it faster. Let's say it this way. Okay, so it was a partial that it was yeah, just partially, yeah. And it uh, never grew back. No. Well, you probably look good bald. Yeah, I I look good bald. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, okay. I, I just, you know, because I'm fighting to get this proton therapy. I'm even going to change my insurance. Yeah, and how much will you pay now? $1,000 a month or how much? I, I don't care. I mean, uh, if, I, if I can't get it through for 1000 a month, I'll pay 3000 a month. I'll pay whatever it costs. And you really it's think it's a good care. way? Huh? You think it's a good way to pay $1,000 or more for, for your insurance. treatment? The alternative, yeah, the alternative is death. So well, yeah, I do. You're 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 fortunate that you have that money to do that. There's so many people out exactly. there who would just have to choose death. Well, you could have your well, prostate just removed. Write him a check, Phil. Phil. You could have your prostate <laughs> removed. Or, yeah, or, yeah. Or, or no, I, uh, yeah, and then I'll be on a catheter. Or, or ha no, you won't. Uh, or you could what, have yeah. a, uh, you, Or you could have a terp. No, I can't have that either. Uh, the TERP is good if you're uh, the, if That's you don't have they, prostate cancer. They won't do it with the cancer, and my prostate's too large to get the seeds. So see. I still have checks uh, uh, in my drawer. So I'll just keep writing checks, you know, <laughs> whether they cash them or not. Well, you're paying thing. doctors, and I'm, I'm paying lawyers. So yeah. you know. Wow, that's a that's a great system. It yes. is. You know, you, you is, is it, oh, wait a minute. Just for uh, just for a reality check again, uh, that radiation treatment that you had, right, David? Which is what Phil's looking for. How much did it cost you? It it didn't cost me anything. There you go. Gee, it cost you your hair. Uh, but uh, it didn't cost look. me anything. It cost them because they had to feed me. Mm, that cost a lot. But uh, and I offered you dinner if you came out here. You didn't come. <laughs> Yeah, I had no, I had no time, but I plan to go to San Francisco definitely for my birthday next year, so I will meet you there. Good. It's in April. Good. Do you ever come okay. to New York, David? Uh, yeah, I will stop by in New York City on yeah. my way to San because, Francisco. Because for everybody who's watching and listening, uh, David is from in the Czech Republic right now. Oh, by yeah. the way, somebody wrote me. Uh, who the, I found the listener who listens to us in Ukraine, okay? Uh -huh. And he said, you don't call it the Ukraine, just like you don't call it the Japan. Huh, ah, about that. It's Ukraine. And that it is not Ukraine, he said, I, I think it's pronounced Ukraine. Wow. How'd you find okay. a guy? Uh, he, he wrote me he, on oh. uh, Facebook. He, he messaged me. Uh, let me see here. Where's the message here? Hold on a second. We were talking about him the other night. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he said you had a listener from the Soviet Union. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Russia. It's, uh, let me see here. Where Where is that? Oh, here we go. Up here. And uh, there was a joke. Larry Brown. Uh, gee, I don't know where. Uh, I don't know where it is now. It isn't. Was, 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 did he happen to be Donald Trump's former campaign manager? No, uh, KGB uh, got rid of the got rid of the tweet. Oh no, it was a letter I got. That was it. Somebody yeah. sent me a letter, and do I still have it? No, I don't. I don't have it. But anyway, he said it's it, it, it's not the Ukraine. It's Ukraine. And hmm. I think he said, "Do you know? Am I right, David? I mean, you're near there." Yeah, it's in English. It's Ukraine, and in Ukrainian, it's Ukraina. Ukraina. Ukraine. Now, why don't we? Well, that's what I always wondered about. And by the way, it's time almost to start getting out of here. Uh, that's a question I've always had. Why, for instance, France isn't France, it's Francais or whatever. Uh, Deutschland. Deut uh, Germany is Deutschland. Why do we call it Germany? There's no translate. Ger Deutschland does not translate into the word Germany. I don't get it. We have a town here term. in Ohio called Versailles. Hey, listen, we have, uh, we have run out of uh, time here that's allotted to us. Uh, the intersection is next with Jack and Amy, followed by uh, the sneezing Tony Magno Sorry. show. And uh, I want to thank David Hajek for calling us and Phil Meyer for calling us and Scott Boddicker for calling us and studying 
Java while we sat here. Uh, uh, Tony Magno, uh, of course, Rob Alfano, the great Rob Alfano. Mark Green, always a pleasure to have you here. You're an intelligent sort that we love having on the panel. And Jeff Stein, who has become a, a new regular who really we count on a lot. So thank you, Jeff. To all of you, have a good night. And, thank you, uh, Alex. Uh, we'll see you soon. <laughs> Bye-bye. And uh, that's it. Um, everybody hung up really fast all at one time. And I will now hang up as well. Uh, and uh, the good gods at Skype are, have been working fine for us tonight, and we thank them for that. Hey, Jack and Amy are next. Uh, I'm Alex Ben. I'll see you Tuesday, same time, same station in life. In the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? And everybody, I want to thank the TV people for joining us, too. And uh, we'll see you again uh, next Friday night doing the TV thing. But you can always join us Monday through uh, Tuesday through Friday uh, at GabNet.net. Bye-bye. Let me stop this and push that.